Hey guys, how's it going? It's Peter Day here. I haven't made a video in really long, about seven months, um, probably just because we've been so busy in the business. But um, hey, I'm picking up uh, the dog from the groomer. Thought I'd show you the dog. That's Louie. Say hi to Louie. Very nice uh, Bichon dog. But um, I'm about to head home in a second and just get in the office and continue working and stuff but I wanted to make a video um just to share some tips and a little bit of updates and stuff with our um company so there was a few things on our our mind so first of all um we're hiring a lot in the business right now for salespeople. um I know that Tyler put a video out um just the other day um you know for sales people we've already got some really good responses and we're interested in interviewing um, some more people just to see what kind of talent is out there. So if you're a salesperson or a really experienced biz dev person in our space, help us land more clients in all different verticals, uh, reach out. The best thing to do is just visit our YouTube channel. Just go to that second to last video, the one where Tyler talks about the hiring and um, let's schedule an interview. We can get um, an interview going with Tyler. We can do a follow-up interview with myself and we're actively looking for more salespeople because um, we have a really ambitious goals to get a lot more clients. Um, we already have about 500 to 600 clients right now, which might sound crazy to some of you guys, <laughs> right? Like there's a lot of clients, um, but we have a lot of clients already, but we want to get even more um, because the numbers have been very strong for our um, company. I think last time we talked, I'm not even sure how long ago it was, but the last time we talked, maybe we were doing six figures per day or something of spend um, and revenue. But lately, we've been able to actually do as high as 200 to uh, $400,000 per day of um, revenue. And we believe we're on a very big growth path um, to where if we keep doing things right and we keep expanding into more verticals and more industries and more um, sectors within the performance marketing industry, we, we really believe that we can see over $1 million per day um, at some point. It's perhaps just a matter of time and maybe it's within the next uh, three to five years. And I, I really believe we can do that because I want to say that the largest day that we've ever had has maybe been like $480,000 or something like in a single day. And I believe that what's going to take us to the next level is more um, verticals and more clients and just having more expansion on the sales side um, and the sales team. So we're actively looking for salespeople um, with us. We have a really good environment in our company. It's very, um, uh, it's, it's very fun. It's not like it's not an annoying um, job. It's it's not like a job you're going to hate. It's a very, very healthy and just great, um, passionate, hardworking team. And we all are really hard workers at the company. And we just all have the same mindset, which is to basically crush it and to do as much as possible and to grow and to expand and to be making the right choices and the right decisions of what to do, what to go after and what to focus on, right? And um, so I want to also share one thing, too, about how I think it is really important to stay within your core competency. What's really interesting is that um, at least, you know, within the reasons of like what makes sense to do is because what's really interesting is lately we've been thinking about selling our own um, insurance and stuff, right? Like we've been promoting a lot of uh, different things like auto insurance, health insurance, life insurance. We've been promoting a lot of different insurances for different companies, right? And what's been running through our minds is why not be selling our own insurance? We could actually set up a call center with hundreds of agents, um, if not thousands, and we could actually be the ones selling our own um, insurance over the phone, whether that be a health insurance or a auto insurance product or whatever it is, we feel like we can take it to the next level and not only be affiliate marketers and performance marketers and stuff like that, but we really believe that we can even be selling the products our, ourselves, right? And this could be done in any sector, whether it's debt relief or home services or whatever it is. 
And we still want want to do that. We still have ambitions to do that. But what's been running through our mind lately is what's easier for us? And that's a question you have to ask yourself. What's easier for you in, in your business, right? Is it easier to start a new business selling um, insurance or is it easier to just keep excelling at what you're good at? And that's the thought that's the thought that's really been running through our mind lately as a company and as me and my brother are brainstorming is like we have this opportunity on one hand to be selling insurance over the phone and it would have a lot of upside um we could probably build a company and sell it for you know over a hundred million dollars or you know maybe even 200 300 plus million dollars or whatever um and we still would like to do that and we still have goals to do that and ambitions to do that do that but What's running through our head is, again, what's easier in the short term? What's the path of, let's say, least resistance? What makes the most sense to actually do as a company to get the results you're trying to get, right? And that's what you always need to be asking yourself with your own business, with your own company and so forth, with your own efforts, right? It's like, what's the what's the best choices? What's the best decisions? And I don't know if you guys have read Ray Dalio. Have you read um, Ray Dalio's book, um, He has, Ray Dalio has this children's book and the book is all about, you know, navigating life and making choices. And Ray Dalio describes life as basically this river, right? And you're, you're floating down the river and then you have choices. Do you go left? Do you go right? Do you go down the rapids? Do you go down the easier route, right? It's life is all these choices that are coming at you and you just have to make the right choices. And I feel like that's where we're at with our company right now is we have this choice Do we start a second business selling insurance or do we keep just focusing 100% on what we're doing right now and growing it? And the decision that we're coming up with as a team at the moment is we're going to just decide to focus 100% on growing what we're doing. Because the thing is, we're on such a growth path anyway that we could always do the insurance thing later. We could always circle around next year or in a couple years and be selling our own um, insurance, right? It's the opportunity is never going to go anywhere to sell insurance over the phone. But if we're already on such a growth path with affiliate marketing and uh, promoting other people's offers and just partnering with other companies, why not grow that to the absolute biggest we possibly can? Why not do over $1 million a day? If, if we've been averaging $200,000 a day or $300,000 a day, let's just say on average, we've been sustaining that basically every day for the last six or seven months at this point straight. If we've been doing that, it, it shouldn't be that hard to actually start averaging over $500,000 a day, okay? Maybe we'll be there by this time next year. Um, and then once we're at that stage, it shouldn't be that hard to start averaging over $700,000 a day. And then once we're there, it shouldn't be that hard to eventually just actually do over $1 million a day of online traffic and affiliate marketing. Um, So that's what we're thinking now is what's easiest. Is it easier? And it, it comes down to core competency, right? It's like one of our biggest core competencies is finding other offers to promote, basically the affiliate marketing um, model and then promoting them successfully and developing really strong relationships with our clients, building out great teams and systems and hitting traffic on all different types of channels, Facebook, YouTube, Google, TikTok, native, etc. And it's we really are good at that, right? So that's what we're going to focus on for now. We're going to put the insurance ideas on the back burner. And then if the right opportunity comes at the right time, it's something we're going to be keeping our eye out for in terms of selling these different insurances, kind of becoming perhaps higher level, if you want to call it that. But what also turned turned me off a little bit from the insurance thing too, is I was talking to some companies that are selling the insurance. And like, I was talking to a company that was selling insurance the other day. They have like over a hundred employees. And by the way, like Optimize to Convert doesn't even have a hundred employees. We have... um We have like 20 employees, right? But I was talking to this other company that has over 100 employees. And this company with over 100 employees that is like grinding away at this insurance sales, 
they're they've just been earning like five times less money than us. Like I think they only did like fifteen million dollars um last year of revenue when we did almost five times that amount of money just doing affiliate marketing. So what's what's running through my my mind is like I don't I don't know. It's like the selling of the insurance, it sounds great. I'm sure it could crush it. I think the bigger picture is to be doing both, um, the affiliate model and the selling, but all right, I just wanted to kind of share what, what we're up to, right? Because you guys haven't heard from us in a long time, and I just wanted to share what we're up to and just share some ideas here. But I think my message here is stick to your core competency, at, at least at first, is the wisdom here, right? Like if you're really good at something, whether it's media buying or selling or business development or like managing ad campaigns or even building creatives, whatever you're just really good at, focus on what you're really good at. Make sure you're operating within your core competencies and then keep an eye out for these other opportunities. Don't be chasing um, kind of like the shiny object. And I'm not saying that selling insurance is chasing the, the shiny object. I think it is a great opportunity. It's just perhaps a matter of the right place at the right time and doing the right kind of things. Um, so that's my advice here is to stick within your core competencies, but don't just stick within your core competencies forever to the point where you don't do anything else either. I think that's a mistake is some, oh, I'm, you know, I'm good at media buying. I'm just going to media buy forever. It's like, well, I don't know about that. That seems like a little bit of a limiting mindset. I think you should stay within your core competencies, um, you know, at first and maybe as like a primary thing you're doing and then be branching out, be open to these different opportunities, different things. Maybe it's investing, maybe it's trading stocks, maybe it's selling insurance, maybe it's um, cryptos or what, what. There's all these different opportunities, real estate. There's all these different opportunities to make money out there. But if you're just chasing thing after thing, thinking that the next thing is maybe going to be better, make sure you're really good at what you do. Okay. Because if you're, if you're chasing a million things and you you could find yourself failing at a million different things instead of just being really, really good at, at one thing, right? So these are just some thoughts and I wanted to give you guys just some advice here and I want to be doing more YouTube videos. I really do. We've just been so busy with work. Um in the last seven months, we, there, there was a period of time where we were so busy. It's like I could hardly even leave the house. It was so busy. But um, the growth and everything has been there to support it, to justify it. We just haven't had much time to make these YouTube videos. But I want to I get back into making the YouTube videos. Not only that, the YouTube videos are probably a lot crisper now. I got a brand new um, iPhone 14 Pro um thing with the best camera so you could probably notice like the clarity of these videos are much tighter um and the audio is probably much better too so we want to be making more videos i whenever we do a video people are like wow that is so much value these guys have so much value to offer it's just sometimes we've been so busy we haven't been able to make a video but what we're gonna do is we're gonna we, we've been promising this over and over again we're gonna start making more videos we're gonna just keep um pouring out to you guys in the industry, training, giving tips, giving just real practical advice of building a business within this affiliate space. And I hope you find it helpful. So you know what? Subscribe to the channel, press like, leave a positive comment on the video. No bad comments, no bad comments, positive comments only, because there's nothing negative about this. And let's just let's crush it. Let's crush it together. And maybe we can literally crush it together because remember, we are hiring for salespeople. If you're a good salesperson, if you're really connected in this industry, you know a million people, you've been to trade shows, you've been in this industry for like 10 years, 15 years or more, reach out. Um, reach out to myself, reach out to my brother. You could even send me a Skype if you're taking notes. My Skype name is Peter Day 36 Four zero Peter Day, thirty six forty. If you're a salesperson, you're watching this video. You're like, man, I I want to join up with these guys because I see the vision, I see the growth, I see what they're up to. Send me a Skype. Reach out to my brother. Fill out the the application even from that prior video with the hiring, and let's get in touch and let's see if you're a good fit. 
We're looking for a lot more than one salesperson too. We're looking for a full out sales team. We really, really need more customers. We do because we've been having an issue lately where we've been filling um, caps so easily with like some of the things we've been hitting. We've been succeeding on them so big and so quickly that we've just been uh, like literally we're sending so much traffic to some clients that they just they can't even they don't even have enough call center agents or um you know like manpower to even like handle all the leads or the phone calls we're we're doing if it's lead gen or paper call it's just we really need more clients and a lot more of them a lot more bigger ones and it's just really a numbers game of clients and verticals and Let's just talk. If you're a salesperson, let's just talk. Let's get on the phone. Let's see what we can do together and see if there's an opportunity for a partnership. Um, even if you're not in a position for a full-time job, we might still have opportunities. Maybe you can refer some clients to us and we can give you just a commission, like a freelance. Um, like even if you have another job, but you're able to do a little bit of um, biz dev for us at night, even if you can spend an hour at night just just sending some clients our way, we can compensate on that kind of thing, like a freelance biz dev referral um, kind of deal where we can give you a percentage of um, what the clients end up producing and stuff. And we can do that. Even if you have another um, position, you just have to make sure that there's no conflict of interest or any non-competes with what you're doing, but that's an option as well. Um, we're also looking for, you know, full-time all-in um, positions as well. So reach out. Um, hope this video, you know, taught you a lot, motivated you, got you um, excited about what we're doing here. Because sometimes it has been a drag if the campaigns have been going badly or if you're not making money one day or one week. I mean, I get it. We've been through all that garbage. And sometimes you just need motivation um, because it's been really frustrating, too, if you've been working on a campaign for like months and then the, the client just tells you to pause or the network tells you to pause or something. There's, there's always been this junk, Right. But you have to stay motivated and you have to, you know, maintain positive outlook and just just kind of see, just kind of get used to the junk. I don't think the junk is going away. I don't think the junk is going away. You know, you run a campaign for two weeks and they tell you to pause. I can't promise that's never going to happen again. I mean, you know, maybe it doesn't happen again, but very likely it's going to happen again. I, I, I just don't think the junk is all going to go away, right? So if the junk's not going to go away, you just have to see through the junk. You have to start like getting used to the junk. You have to start ignoring the junk. You have to start treating the junk like it's just a normal part of the business and just be excited about the things that are growing. Be excited about the things that are building, developing, and succeeding. And don't get negative about the junk, guys. So I hope you like this video. Let's just stay in touch and uh, we'll make a new video soon. All right, talk soon. Bye.